there guys, how is it going? Welcome back to Path of Logic. I am actually excited for this game. I had one person comment on the last video that I had made stating that the Haro Specs, um, <clears throat> the Haro Specs path was actually one of the most unfair and ridiculously hard. And if, it was just, of course, I would choose that one. I don't know, he's just, I don't, I don't know. I got a thing for creepy doctors, like, you know, Frankenstein. Couldn't help it. Anyway, so I am actually interested in what this game has for me. So let us go ahead and get in there. Hopefully I can actually figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Because I am really good at just wandering around and get my ass kicked. Plus, what was that? Alright, I, I got a match. Okay. So I'm just going to like play with my keys real fast and try to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Cause I mean, I was getting attacked earlier. How am I supposed to like defend myself? What is this? Other task. For the little toad in the waves, homeless boy Notkin, who leads the Soul and a Half Gang, has beseeched me to find the dog head renegade in the step. Behind the good nature of his face, I know that he wants the traitor dead. He will regret his cruelty soon enough. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. And then here was our map. Where's my little scissors? Okay, so this kid is over here. So we need to find a bridge. Okay, so let's try to find a bridge. All right, yeah, shift is our crawl. Hello, how you doing? All right. Oh shit. Ah! <laughs> Goofy music. No, I don't want to get in a fight with you, bro. <laughs> I'm just a doctor! Or butcher, whichever you prefer. Is this the bridge? <clears throat> Stop chasing me! How am I supposed to fight? Like, fighting would be nice or something. I don't know. I'm just running. This is a bridge, okay. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna say it's kidneys. And those look like flowers. I think. I don't know. Just, just, I don't know. Is bro still chasing me? Yeah, he is. Look at him. He's just kind of like meandering along like, I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. Hey! What is all that noise I'm hearing? Stop chasing me! Oh my god, you're annoying. Is there a- like, I would love to know some method that I could use to fight or punch people. There's people over there! They're gonna chase me too! Is this just what I have to do to start with? Just run around like a maniac and try to not get killed? That's a huge ass rock! Look at that rock! What is that? Where am I? What is that? It's a pit in the ground. Whoa. Where the hell am I? Dude, go away. That's probably not gonna protect me, is it? How did I get over here? Oh crap. Did he go away? Did he leave me alone? Or maybe I'm dead. Maybe I died. <coughs> oh! <laughs> I'm not... Uh, exhaustion? Is that for me running so much? Where'd that come from? Can we stop with this goofy music? How am I supposed to lose these guys? That's creepy looking. Go away! Ooh, I'm getting close. After running for like hours. Look at that weirdo! Now if I could just shake this guy and, you know, get on with my life. Why do I keep, I keep trying to crouch? What are with these cows? I found cows. Hi cows. Is there like a way that I can figure out how- let's see. Settings. Audio controls. 
Um, attack. Left mouse button, right trigger. I was using... I don't want to attack him, because he'll, he'll hurt me. <laughs> that was gross. Go away! Ah, I can't hit him. <laughs> Stop my life, my life. Okay, no, I'm just gonna run over there to dog head and be like, Oi, what's up? What you doing? What you got for me? Shh. If this guy follows me over there, so be it. Hopefully I don't die. Can I go in there? Maybe shake him from there? Ah! Let's just talk to this kid. This is goofy. Who are you? What's your business here? Gather and twire, are you? Came for you, little doggy. Or are you human? Rawr! No human am I! Ha ha ha! What? Does it look like I've really got a dog's head? It does look like it from far away. Come to think of it, it's eerily realistic at close range, too. Makes me shudder a bit. Jokes aside, kid, I got bad news. Nah, I don't wanna- I don't wanna hurt him like- Yes, yes, that's right. We're not called dog heads for nothing. You see, you hobo man? <laughs> I just got called a hobo man. I'm getting chased over there, too. No way you can tell if it's real or not. There is a reliable method. I can simply take that head off of you along with your neck and check it out. <laughs> They say spirits used to grant heads like these to traitors in ancient times. Oh really? You're in cahoots with them too, huh? No way. So who sent you? Someone who's very unhappy with you. They want your blood. <clears throat> are they nuts? Why are they bullying me? So I did some snooping here and there. So what? So I did some double aging. Ugh, I'm done. Don't want to rat out a soul and a half to a to the thief. Don't want to rat out the thieves and soul and the halves. And I'm the only sensible her person around here. Why do they want you dead? This is your last rant. I don't like traitors. Because you're going to run off and rat... Run out of people to rat out of. Ha rat out, eh? Oh, no. I'm done with that for reals. Done. So what do you want? Should we kill him? I don't really want to kill him. Shove off. Make me sick. Oh god, I'm gonna die. My thing's blinking. That was weird. I heard clapping and then they ran, ran. Stop! This guy has chased me all the way across town. And I can't really strafe. Or can I? Oh. Oh! Okay! Nah! Oh shit! He can't. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just... <laughs> I tumbled! What is that? What are you, you little weirdo? He punched me to death. Okay, so tab is how you show your hands. I need to look over the settings more. Okay, so that is helpful, but I guess you probably can't talk to people like that. Let me look at these settings a little more. Continue. Okay, so inventory, clothes, what is that? Protective gloves. Oops. Drugs. Painkiller. Morphine, a universal opiate. Alpha tablets, an outdated immunity booster. Tourniquet. Ooh! My exhaustion just shot up. Reduces fatigue and increases health. Sleeping. Rations. Water. Other. What's that? Kerosene. Okay. And then F5 is saving. Why is reload? Look at me, I'm learning! Why is my exhaustion, like, way the hell up there? Is there a way to, like, sleep or something? Like, damn. You can't be running around like that, especially after that. What am I doing? Don't look at me. I'm still looking at these. Shut up, leave me alone. 
Ah! Hey, you. That big seated doctor is no wimp. A dangerous type. Okay, so I can't really talk to him now that I've talked to him, but I also can't rest. And I, my exhaustion is like way the hell up there. Look at my ugly face! It's actually not ugly, he's, he's kind of handsome. Okay. So we kind of got to fix that. Drugs, rations. Can we use that? And... Dang, bro! Okay. Fix that a little bit. Our exhaustion is like way the hell up there. How do we fix that? What does that mean? Like, is he gonna pass out or something at some point? What? Hey! No, don't, don't, don't chase me. <laughs> He's gonna kill me again. This is hard. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Somebody just came up beside me and punched me in my kidney! Stop it. Are they just automatically gonna come after me because, ooh, because I have my fist out or like... No, they're just gonna kinda come after me because I'm, I'm out here. Where'd the bridge go? Looks like I just gotta run. I was hoping I could catch him on something because it's so jittery. What are you? Why do you say three? You know, we're gonna go in that building that I saw over there and kind of try and shake him in there. I did go in here. What the? Where am I? Whoa. I just went in like a basement. Did it work? Hello? Oh, thank God. Okay. This strafing is horrible. He's just like inching to the side. Is this anything I can mess with? No. Look at that big ass door. Can I go over here? I can. It's a graveyard. Whoa. Hi. Where the hell am I? Who are you people? Dang, look at that dude. Dang. I've been forgotten here. So now my side is all damp. What? He is ruthless. That man with a snake skin coat. He doesn't know compassion. You look like a person who's burdened with a great with the weight of a great sorrowful loss. What's your name? Grace. You're weird. Temi Burak. My name is Grace. I look after the dead. Aren't you a bit young for that? What? Why have you come? Who is this? Don't finish him off, please. This man is- This is the man that tried to kill you. One of those who assaulted you at the station. He says- it was you who crippled him. He will die soon any enough anyway. He's got a li so little blood, blood left. Will you let him be? Really? Should I maybe tend to his wounds and sing him a, sing him a lullaby? <laughs> I will, but that will only pro prolong the agony. I have to finish the deed. Oh, but you- Oh, can't you see what you have done? He is in terrible pain. I can easily have been in his place. Can I- I- what? He is ruthless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That man with a snakeskin coat. He doesn't know compassion. I'm looking forward to seeing a bunch of new guests oh so soon. One of them will be I will put by the wall. Free more over the hill. Space is a plenty on the far side. 
There is enough space for a single man here, let alone more. Okay, I w I'll give up some blood for this man. Thank you. Don't take too long and pay, vi pay a visit to the hunchback then. He will take your blood and make necessary pre preparations. I mean, it might, like, you know, make my reputation go up and get these motherfuckers to stop attacking me. What am I supposed to do? Bring it back in a bucket then? Oh, wait, what? What? Am I supposed to bring it back in a bucket? He knows how to handle the process, I think. And it's all the same to me. Okay, well, we'll see. Where the hell that at? This is all the way across the dang city. I gotta run from everybody to get over there. Oh my god. You people are stressing me out. Shut up, or I'll kill you. How extensively do I need to talk to people at that? Like, is it pertinent that I extensively touch out with people, try to figure out all that I can, or? I don't know. I barely know what this game is going on about. And I don't like the fact that I'm getting attacked everywhere I go. That's stressful. I might just restart the game. I might just wimp out and restart the game. Hello? Is that a clock tower or something? What the hell is that all about? Okay, you. Okay, for you, little dog, you're really someone who's very unhappy with you. Why do they want you dead? It's nothing. That's nothing. Nothing at all. So I took something. It's common property, right? So it's mine too. Dead if slang winged over the schmouter anyway. You could say I did them a favor, and so I hurt the doggy. True, but in self-defense, nothing more. One's right to defend himself, right? That was unconvincing. Have mercy on me, good man. He who saves a life will be rewarded. I just can't tell you what they want me dead for. It would make me feel real bad, but I don't want, I won't do it anymore. That's super weird. You're weird. A little weirdo. So, he killed the dog that was supposedly with him. Sorry, nature's freaking me out. Um, alright. What did I just pick up? What was that? I just picked something up. What is this? Got 503 of these. What are you? Clothes, drugs, rations, other. What are you? Swevery, a rare herb. The people of the step don't worship it as much as Swire, which, according to the legends, is how the earth gives back the souls of the dead. But they often use it in their potions because it greatly amplifies the medical qualities of Swire. Okay. Do we go back to Nutkin now? Or Notkin? I can't fast drop the camera. We just have to run all over the damn place. Damn! This is a vicious game. I'm still finding things for some reason, whatever the hell those are. If I was to follow this, I would be able to get to... Hi! This is the lump. Blah, blah, blah. I'd be able to get to there. And I feel like I should, considering my exhaustion. But I also kind of want to go back to Notkin. Alright. Can I go in the water? Or will it kill me? No, I can't go in the water. Okay. But if I follow it, I should be able to... Because there was a crossway of far, far up here. That is ominous as hell looking, but also really cool. Shit. Why you gotta be there, dude? Why you gotta be there? Okay, there's a crossway, and that crossway will lead straight to the house that I need to go to. Looks like I'm just gonna have to run up here and, you know, run past him. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting. 
Oh god, they're everywhere. Everybody's everywhere. Kids, okay, thank god for kids. Hey kids. Oh shit. Yeah, buddy, I see you. Where's the entrance over here? So I guess only the men will chase me? Like the youthful men? Creepy! Ah. What are you? Empty bottle is required. Is this little- There's a peculiar smell on the outside. What is this? It's hard for us to believe in things that lie outside of our scope. Who are you? Why are you covered in blood? <laughs> that is just my professional expensive. So, it's you, Artemy. The Harvest Specs. We have long been waiting for you. I am Victoria. It says Capella over here. My father is Vladislav Olgim Olgimsky. My friend call me. Ca my friends call me Capella. I'm going to call you Victoria for now. I have a feeling that in less than two, in, two, le in less than two weeks, our world will collapse and be reborn in a new form. I will have to create new li new life and sacrifice myself for future sake. Will you help me with that? Th what? Like, stop! You're blowing my mind every time you do that. I'm like, what are you talking about now? Why are you doing that? I hope you won't let you want to sacrifice anything for now. There was no murder, right? Was there? I don't know. Speak with my father first, he lives next door. I'll end your time. Alright, I figure I mean, you know, I should probably. Look at that big ass book, that's cool looking. What is that thing? I have no sense of like. Whoa. I'm just barging into everything, looking at everything. The fuck are you? Are you Big Vlad, the owner of the ho this house? Tragedian. Do I look like him? In all honesty, absolutely not. I just thought you may represent him. What do you want? I'm like really confused right now. I am but a poor postman, you see, tasked with delivering a letter of utter, utter impor importance. Yet I was told that he would only be here at 11. Does this letter by any chance refer to one Burak? I haven't read it. Yes, you have. You're such a you're such a lousy liar that even that mask can't conceal it. Okay, alright. No, the letter refers to one Bachelor Jankowski who has come to the town for professional personal reasons, but will soon take on the responsibility of dealing with Simon Kane's mystery murder. Thank you, mate. As if my life wasn't fun enough. He's creepy. Postman, my butt. Yeah, I thought so. What? Where'd you come from? I don't think so. Okay. It's the same power. Dad said I should send you to him if you get the wrong door and come by him. Come by me. Come to me by first by mistake. I have to behave. Okay. <sighs> Are we just gonna like stand here and wait? Of course. Here's a bed. Just lay down and sleep to your heart's content. Thank you, Victoria. Can you really? Yes, sweet. I only want to sleep for like one hour because it's. T Sleep. I actually have to sleep a full eight hours to be able to get rid of that. Wait. Oh, cool. Everything doesn't look so damn ominous anymore. Oh, the postman's gone. The fuck is. Alright! <laughs> Interesting art. Hello? Come, gotcha. 
Oh, hey. Oh, I thought that. Wow, you are weird looking. Yes. I guess I know who stands before me. I know of, of your tragedy, my boy. I am Vladislav Olgimsky. Booze. You probably don't remember me. I am wholly at your disposal. Somehow, I didn't expect you to be so young. I'm not that. I'm not all that young. Were you expecting to see a s senior person or something? Well, I didn't expect you to be still alive. No, no, but your father was so old, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was to see his copy. Were you expecting me? I was, for a while. A lady whose intuition can be trusted has told me that you were to come any day now, but we'll talk about that later. Well met, Artemy Burak. Yes, that is my name. I am the eldest in our family now. You may call me Haru Specs or Warden. <laughs> ah. The girl is fine, but the boy... <laughs> the boy's unbearable. What are we talking about? Harmony Burak, yes, he's adored his death. It's a terrible loss, terrible, just like your looks, but please forgive this old poor man and his poor man, his poor manners. It's hard for me to tell you that the death of your beloved father is most likely the, just the beginning of your misfortunes, Master Birok. Some bastards attacked me as soon as I got off the train. This misfortune is already more than enough. Yes, I've heard already. Those bastards, however, weren't looking for the person who got off the train, but rather someone planning to abort it. They were after a murderer, you see. The one who's caused a lot of problems already. A lot. They say your father's death is the murderer's doing too, eh? What? Huh? There is a theory. A weird death. He was ready for it, though, wasn't he? He didn't let you- He did let you know beforehand, and then he died precisely that night. Well, the fear is greater than the reason for it, you know. Pray tell. Bro, what is going on with your eyes right now? They look like they're like about to pop out of your damn head. You're so weird. Why would it, pray tell, why would anyone examine the evidence now? It's much easier to just tear apart the troublemaker. You, that is. Why do, what do I have to do with the murder? I only just arrived. The men at the station mistook you for the murder. Problem is, now they're broadcasting your features to everyone. <sighs> to anyone who would listen. You do stand out, you know. And mass hysteria is an excellent environment for rash accusations. Coupled with the, ac with the customable visions of a certain influential lady. What lady? A well-respected one. Do you remember the Sabarovs? I doubt that. Katerina isn't that much older than you. Katerina Alexander... Sabarov's wife, she has extraordinary talents, prerogative, I dare I say. Oh, precognitive. No one questions them, that much is certain. Does she foresee me coming? Not only that, she foresaw many horrors related to you, but it's all very vague, and you know, compared to my deceased wife, Katerina's talents are, to put it mildly, controversial. But they're enough for commoners to identify you and... So what? Am I a spe suspect for the whole town? I kicked the desk. A suspect? No, I wish. It's not a suspicion. There's not a shade of doubt. They're positive it was you, my dear Master Virok. You are being haunted, and until panic settles down, please do consider their poor... their proof irrefutable. Those who have been left lying by the station are self-explanatory, too. They were asking for it. Those poor creatures in the streets are really not to blame. Do not be so harsh on them. For my first time in many for the first time in many years they've gotten an opportunity to witness absolute evil. They will come to their senses in due time. Meanwhile, you need to come into your inheritance, don't you? And that means you need to free yourself from these accusations first. Eh? Yes. My word won't be enough. Everyone's squabbling, they'll probably see foul play in this. Here's what I think. The Canes have commissioned a peculiar man to handle Simon's case. A bachelor of medicine. He'd come a long way here, and just in time too, as though it was meant to be like this. He's the one searching for the murderer for them, so yes, you should just say he's quite quick on the draw, they say. If you could only find him before he finds you, he won't shoot you straight away then. Dude, eyes! Perhaps meanwhile, perhaps. Meanwhile, I'll do anything, do everything I can to aid you. It would be 
have been much better if you could just lay low for a while, but they'll come for you soon, I'm afraid. Alright, I'll speak to the spatula. Just wait till the evening, please. Right now, he is also confused, so he'll shoot first and ask questions later. And just please do your best not to break any more bones. Do not attack random people in the street. <laughs> just go easy on them and work on gradually restoring your good name. Also, go see my daughter right now. She's a good girl and she's got something to tell you. I need to be alone for a while. Okay, so his daughter's just like right next to her. I'm gonna go lay down, like. That's cool looking. Burley's asleep. God, I can't fucking function. Okay, sleep. way the hell up there. How am I supposed to deal with that? Jeez. This game is ridiculous. Well, that didn't really fix anything. What are, what are these, like, potato things? Seriously. Okay, you guys still here. Who is this bachelor really after? Can he be an inspector? I'm bleeding. Ask the servants, those that haven't scattered, that is, the panic. The panic is so devastating. Better yet, go ask my daughter, little Victoria. She's in it, she'll help. Thank you. Yeah, there ain't no servants in here, bruh. My health is fine, though. Like, is it raining? It's raining. <laughs> Victoria, what you got for me, little... You are a victim of a terrible mistake, yet there is something I want to reveal to you. It will help you reestablish your good reputation. I'll give you a few names. All of them belong to children. Don't judge them by their age. Some of them may be a valuable help to you. Is that so? It is. All of them have been seeing Isidore quite lately often. Quite often lately. Maybe some of them can even surmise who the real killer is. And the rest know for a fact that you're innocent. They are bound. And so accusing a person of patricide would be unnatural to them. Even if the evidence is obvious. Happy to hear that. They can help you find out how your father spent his last evening. I only know that he went off into the steppe for a very long time and came back very late last night. That is when the children went to meet the old man in secret. What for? Do you know why their relationship with your father has grown so tight? I have no idea. Medical matters, I believe. What else could be? I have no idea. The reason is quite sad. These children, my faithful friends and faithful aides, are going to die soon. Why? Are they terminally ill? No, but you must believe me. Your father has done so without hesitation. And you know that he is a clever and suspicious man. What are you doing with your face? Calm down over there. He kept checking if anything was wrong with the kids every day. That is how their line of fortune goes. They are more likely to die than live. How do you know that? Did my father know beforehand that he would die for some reason? I don't know. How do you know that then? Precognition. Not only mine, though. All of us agree on this. Do so does did your father and Simon. But it is still hard for me to speak about them in the past tense. And Maria, too. Katarina, even. Everyone agrees. Please take care of them like your father did. They must live. Simon and Isidore died, so they must be... They too must be on the brink. What can I do for them? Just keep them in mind, even if you hold their lines of fortune in your hand. Please do not let them go. You are also not a common man, you know. You are your father's son. Is that so? Whatever happens, these people must live. Their fates are bound to mine. They may well hold the keys to my victory in their hands. Murky, Sticky, Notkin, Grace, Capella, Taya, Taichik, Khan. Alright. Uh. This bachelor isn't that smart. Intelligent, yes. But not smart. The killer will get to him before he gets to the bottom of this. I'm just terrible and sad. There's only one out doing good and not doing bad anymore. How do I? Who can I talk to regardless of my? Can I have the rest of the? Truth. 
You know, my mom used to tell me there's good fortune and bad fortune. When someone is touched by the bad fortune, it jumps on his neck and rides him wherever it pleases, further and further until he shrugs it off. The further it pushes him, the no longer, the longer it takes to get back on track. That is nothing new, perhaps. But the point is, the bad fortune will plant misdeeds on your path so that you can commit more and more of them. Even something innocent thrown in your path can be into your path by the bad fortune can turn into a truly evil deed when you're carrying it on your shoulders. So it's on my shoulders already? It is. It is unlikely you'll manage to do a lot of good deeds, but please try to stay away from doing something bad. I can tell you, I can tell even, I can even tell you where the bad deeds, you where the bad deeds await you today. Do you believe my precognition? Yeah, sure. Danger awaits you at the cemetery, at the warehouses, and the step. I don't know what it is, but chances are you will do a lot of evil there. It would be your best not to go back there today at all. And do not listen to the misguided advice that claims otherwise. I'll think about it. Many good people have turned away from you, and the bad ones are drawing closer, lost in the vacuum. You will be tempted to meet their quests. Do not make that mistake. Clever girl, Capella. It looks so strange and awkward and weird. Oh, it's a water fountain. Okay, cool. Can I just, like... Well, that would shoot my exhaustion up, wouldn't it? Because for some reason, drinking water is exhausting. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, there's no point to do that. It would take for, like, ever. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna just go ahead and cut it here, because I don't know how long this has been recording for, and I don't really know how long to record for, because this game is absolutely massive. Clearly... Mm, what have I gotten myself into? It just looked interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.